Good afternoon everyone. My name is Dr. Saurabh Roy. Today we will discuss about the wearable antenna. So in the last lecture we discussed about what are the basic introduction of the wearable antenna. So in this lecture we specifically discuss about the what are the substrate which we are used in the wearable antenna and how you are you can calculate those substrate parameter as well as how you can refer those substrate for your research purpose. Okay. So first we will see what are the contents. First constant is the substrate selection and next content is the substrate parameter calculation. Okay. So there are basically two substrate we will discuss in this particular lecture. Apart from those two substrate you can use any other substrate also. So how you can select new substrate that also we can discuss. Okay. So first we are using basically those substrate for the wearable antenna purposes. So wearable antenna so here two types of substrate you can use. One is either you can use as cloth material either it may be jeans or it may be cotton or it may be any other military cloth or any other cloths you can use. So that is one of the things that you can use as a cloth material. Another substrate you can use that is hard material like normal traditional subject those you are used as a wearable antenna substrate okay so those are another type of substrate you can use so basically two types one is either cloth material substrate or there is any other material apart from the cloth material okay so now we'll see what are the conventional substrate which we are using in many of the application not from wearable application there are other some application we are using so one basically substrate that are used specifically or as a antenna analyzer antenna designer in any time you can use this particular substrate this substrate is very easily available and very low cost okay so the name of the substrate is fr4 substrate okay so this two copper layer foil is the in in the two layer double sided this is fr4 and glass fiber fabric is there so basically substrate parameter epsilon r is 4.4 in some cases they mention 4.5 or 4.4 also you can consider substrate thickness is equal to 1.6 mm or 1.4 mm 1.5 mm those are given okay so uh, loss tangent is 0.019 and conductor copper thickness is 0.035 mm so basically this substrate is not preferable for available application because this, this substrate is a lossy one and here another problem we are facing that uh, this bending is not possible okay but the advantage of this substrate is low cost in easily available in amazon and flipkart also okay so this substrate is easily available fr4 substrate is very easily available so okay from wearable application it may be some disadvantage but other application you can use this substrate okay unlike any other memo antenna or any other antennas you can use this fr4 substrate now where you can available you have seen that Amazon and Flickr this substrate is available. So you just search PCB boards so double sided. Okay. So here the things will come double sided FR4 copper clad PCB board. The price is also very nominal price. So you can order based on your requirement and what are the size actual size you require. So based on that you should order. So here mentioned they mentioned the size 15 centimeter into 10 centimeter. So this size you should choose and you, uh, you can easily available those substrate in any either Amazon or Flipkart. Okay. So apart from this particular substrate, another substrate that is most usable that is called gene substrate. Okay. So the gene substrate that is most easily available in our daily life also we are using a different gene uh, pant and other things. Okay. So this substrate also we can use as an antenna wearable antenna so here one of the picture is depicted there though that is here gene substrate is used as a wearable antenna so so whenever we are using this type of substrate cloth material so we don't know exactly what are the properties of this cloth material okay so this cloth material property or this gene substrate property we should calculate so how we can calculate so we can calculate by using so here dielectric assessment kit is there, vector network analyzer and computing system. So these are the three things requirement. Okay. So this how we can calculate the gene substrate properties. Okay. Now 
Now we'll see the what are the result came. Okay. So after analyzing the gene substrate, so here we are getting the different dielectric constant, dissipative factor, conductivity, and loss tangent. So those are the electromagnetic properties of the gene substrate. So in the frequency range 1 to 7 gigahertz. But for at 2.545 gigahertz, the substrate dielectric constant is 1.72, loss factor is 0 0.10, loss tangent is 0 0.05, and conductivity is 0 0.01. So this is particularly for the height is 1.40 mm. Okay. So how we are calculating the substrate height? So here we are using digital meter. So this uh, for calculating this particular digital, uh, digitally we can calculate. So this is very important terms. So here you should mention the substrate thickness. Okay. So these are the general substrate which gene substrate which are very widely usable in the wearable antenna domain. So you can prefer this particular uh, substrate. Okay. So now if you prefer or if you use this particular substrate then you should refer some articles which are which articles those uh, substrate is used. Okay. So there are some article which was published which are used in textile antenna or improved isolation for MIMO antenna application. So textile based. So here you should uh, use those particular reference for your paper then the reviewer will understand okay this substrate or near about this substrate or you are considering for your antenna. Okay. So but the problem is you will not get the exact substrate. Okay. So that is the issue. You will not get the exact substrate, but the pro but that substrate uh, values is almost same. Means if you uh, use any genes substrate from market, then their uh, permittivity or digital uh, dielectric constant range is in between 1.6, 1.7, 1.8. Okay, so you can use any type of genes substrate. Okay, so but thickness you should mention which thickness you are mentioning. Okay. So these are the reference you can use for the gene substrate. So apart from gene substrate, if you want any other, want to use any other substrate or you have any new substrate in your mind, then you can go through this particular measurement procedure. Otherwise, I will show you another procedure how you can back calculation and which paper you should refer for any other substrate calculation. And I have also measured some of the substrate, cloth material substrate. Uh, those are military cloth and another cotton substrate also but i will show you those substrate in the next lecture and what are their properties also i also mentioned but you if you want to use those substrate also you can use but the, there is no such article is published regarding those um, substrate okay so i hope you are enjoying those lecture thank you